Hello everyone, my name is James Thomas and this is the value of marketing 2, a continuation of my first video uh, in the series of the value of marketing. Um, what I want to do with this video is just do a continuation and bring a little perspective and, and insight to uh, a statistic that I came across in observation uh, just a couple months ago. Now, what I want to do in order to do that is sort of take a little trip back to the old Wild West or the expansion of the, of the West in the United States. Now, back in the day, uh, towns were very, very far apart and you had to load up the wagon and get a couple of horses and get supplies and whatnot, put that on the wagon as well. And, you know, a journey from one town to the other could take a couple of days. Okay, so you needed those little supplies. And along the way, you might come to an outpost where, you know, local farmers uh, might sell their vegetables and food or uh, hams and all kinds of stuff, trinkets that they've made. You also would need to get, uh, you know, repairs on your wagon done and stuff like that. You, you get the idea. Now, what I want to do, you know, and after they would get their stuff they would go on about their journey what I want to do is sort of liken this to the internet now the internet has been called the su uh, information superhighway and all those little strands all those little rubber bands are like those little trails that we we're talking about and the internet is nothing but connections between different content that's being produced okay it's this big ball of content that's being that's being produced and so now, you know, everyone around the world, all those 8 billion people plus are on the internet. Well, most of them are on the internet. Okay? Young, old, all around, all, all, uh, all across the uh, world. And they're on the super information highway. They're traveling along. And they come to an outpost. Something of interest, something of value to them. When they stop, they buy and sell and trade there. Just like in the Old West. Now, the statistic that I came across was March 15th, 2010, was the 25th anniversary of the Internet. And at that time, there are just about over a billion users on the Internet. And the forecast is that that is going to more than double to 2.2 billion users on the internet and that e-commerce on the internet is going to go from 1.5 trillion dollars to 3 trillion dollars or more worldwide and all of this is supposed to take place by 2013 and at the time of this recording June 2010 that leaves you with two and a half years not a long time so let's put that in perspective. 25 years to get to 1 billion users and just under 3 years to more than double. That's very, very interesting. So, my, so the internet is going to go from this currently to that by 2013. Now, with those statistics and these little cartoonish uh, photos here, I make the argument that now is the best time to learn how to have your outpost out on the super, the information superhighway. Because think of it. All of those people are going to want to buy, sell, trade, join programs, and create income online. My premise is that with the expansion of the internet, learning or generating internet income is going to be more the norm than traditional jobs. So, what I would suggest to you is go to that website, take a look around, click through, 
and I think you will see some extremely valuable information to go along with my premise. So, I would hope to see you on the other side. This is James Thomas signing off, and I thank you for your time. Take care.